three-year-old girl called Olivia. It's our most accomplished song. It includes three chords, it has an introduction and a tune. I hope you like it. No. participation. Um, I'm having trouble seeing you all, so could you get a bit closer because you need to talk to me, that's all. Um, I'd like to know um, what you all find scary. You! Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't me. <laughs> what have you found scary before you've had the privilege of seeing us? Badges. That's me. Okay, you're not very forthcoming. Obviously, you're all fearless, which is... <laughs> escalators. 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 Have you got stuck in one before? My knee's got a shoe. <laughs> that sounds pretty dramatic. Was she okay, or did she get her leg horribly mangled off? Just the legs broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, we've never performed this song before. In fact, we've never written this song before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell a story while we make it up as we go along. Can I not play drums on this one? Okay, okay do you want to play the drum? No. Okay, we'll have a drumless thing. It's quite a long story. Okay, so this song is called Spooky. I'll try and make it as painless as possible. God, I've got fake blood running into my mouth. My stepmother... My stepmother is an antique stealer. Last week she came home with a creepy dress. It was really fucking creepy. It was long and white and it was full of rips, slashes. Like perhaps a rape had happened or someone had scratched themselves in anger, which really fucking disgusted me. Anyway, she slept in this nightmare. But my sister started having horrific dreams. Really horrific dreams. In her dreams she was at the end of the bed, there was a woman, and she was screaming, ah, 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 ah. she was screaming just like that, oh my god mother, you couldn't get a fucking chest out of the house mother, because my sister in her dreams was seeing like, that woman in her dress, screaming, it was nightmare, and these dreams went on, so my mother, my mother, she took her antique dress back to the antique dealer, and was like, where the fuck did you get this dress? It was giving my daughter nightmares. The antique dealer looked at her and she said, It's for me a sign of a French mental home in 19th century. And the woman who lived in it, fucking, fucking killed herself. story about being in Leeds. I, I'm from Ilkley. Is anyone from Ilkley? No one? Has anyone been to Ilkley? Do you like Ilkley? Okay. <laughs> um, once when I was 15 and I was out underage drinking to see my friend's band in Leeds, I was walking down this lonely road near the Corn Exchange and this woman came up to me and she was horrible, she had this syphilitic face with all her skin melting off and I was like, ew, and she also had one leg which was pretty ranked too and she was on crutches and she was like do you want a good time, son? And I was kind of quite disgusted by this, being 15 and utterly innocent. So I, and then she was like, do you have any change? And I was like, no, and I ran away and I thought she might chase me, but she couldn't keep up because she was on crutches. This next 
next song was inspired by a dream John had um, where he was um, commissioned, where we were commissioned to write a song for Gordon Brown's election campaign. <laughs> we came up with um, a new policy called a design for Fife, which involved playing um, residents of the Scottish town Manic Street Preachers songs. Um, we also came up with a new, pol um, new political party called New Labia, but we were <laughs> Um, I, I also have dreams. Um, I believe that British Sea Power are fans of Scout Nibbler, is that true? Probably. They've been mentioned in their promotional material. She's been mentioned in their promotional material before. I have a, dr a recurring dream um, where um, I'm, I'm in love with Scout Nibbler and I'm supporting her solo on guitar on the stage of Water Rats in London. And I really want to impress her, so I sing her a cover of Buddy Holly by Weezer and say, and say Scout, if you like this, then come and like have a drink with me afterwards. But I always wake up before I like have sex with her or whatever. <laughs> I get to read another Ogden Nash poem. Here's a good rule of thumb. Too clever is dumb. This next song's about rabbits. It's called Le Lapin. Alternatively, it's called Rabbit. <laughs> This is, the <laughs> this is the fourth gig we've ever played. Um, um, this is the fourth gig we've ever played. In the review of the first one, it said, Tracy's hot on the clap, rounded off the evening with predictable xenophobia. Again, we are going to round off the evening with predictable xenophobia. We've been Tracy is hot on the clap. You've been really cute and we'd really appreciate it if you came to talk to us. Also, I'm not gay if anyone wants to like, come and hit on me. I really mean that, I'm that desperate. Um, but yeah, we'd, lo we'd love it if you'd come and talk to us. We have some um, albums for sale. It's, uh, they're called Where Wings Take Dream and they cost five pounds. Um, we hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Come and talk to us, we really like people and I'm not gay. This one's called Fuck You France. Yeah. Number 13 is lucky in France Number 13 is lucky in France Number 13 is lucky in France Yeah, and it's on MySpace, myspace.com slash Tracy's Heart on the Clap. We think you're awesome. Good night.